got my robe on guys <laughs> okay so i should i should be sleeping but we are 12 hours in the past in st vincent it's daytime there but it's nighttime here and i have not yet adjusted to that so what i'm going to be doing is ironing my clothes for tomorrow uh trying on my outfits i haven't decided i know that i'm wearing my purple suit i will give you guys a story behind the purple suit when i'm trying it on so i know i'm going to be wearing my purple suit but i haven't decided like what shirt i'm going to be wearing with my purple suit yet so let's do that all right so here's the story behind the purple suits last year when i turned 30 i wanted like an awesome suit for my birthday uh i couldn't find one i found this same suit in green and I, I was like should i take green but i'm like am i a green person clearly not so i just forgot about it and then i just randomly went back on the site and the suit was in purple and i was like i don't care how much this is this suit is mine you already know how it is and here we are here we are with our purple suit good morning guys so i am dressed and ready for the day, I've got on my purple, my purple suit. This is the shirt that I decided on. And you know, this being purple is like, it's just meant to be, everything's just meant to be. So I have all of my equipment, I'm going downstairs. They're already like, we wanna see what you do on your YouTube channel. So I gotta give the fans what they want. So this is my booth setup. It's very pretty. Some of the products that I sent off didn't arrive but my posters and everything are here so I'm happy with that Senda Yu, Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs, ROC Taiwan Let's welcome Vice Minister Yu Virginia Albert Toyota, Minister for the Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor, and the Gender Affairs, Saint Lucia. Development of micro, medium, and small enterprises, Ministry of Economy, Republic of Guatemala. Welcome. Now we cannot wait to hear the first hand from women entrepreneurs. Ms. Renik Zhang, founder of My Crown of Curls, came a long way from St. Vincent to here to share her story with us about what she has overcome to become a successful woman in business. Please, the floor is yours, Ms. Zhang. Mm -hmm. beyond elated to be here and I've been just sitting here and listening to everybody else and I'm like I'm so impressed by all of the presentations and happy that there are organizations who are heavily invested in the development of women not only in my small island but everywhere so my name is Rani John and I'm the owner of the brand, My Crown of Curls. For example, <laughs> I create natural hair care products. And although we live in a predominantly black society, natural hair was not something that was celebrated. I believe that natural hair is beautiful and that God doesn't make mistakes. So if he created some of us with hair like this, there must be something in nature that will moisturize my hair that will make it be healthy and that will make it thrive right so i started experimenting and i'm looking at okay different ingredients what will shea butter do to my hair what will avocados do to my hair what vitamins and minerals are found in these products that will make my hair healthy and thrive and after doing lots of trial and error i like to tell people that i am my first guinea pig so i will never sell you something that does not work for me. And after my hair started to thrive, then persons in my community will be like, what are you doing to your hair? I need some of that, why aren't you selling it to me? Right, so that's how, you know, I got started. Now, I, we're talking about finance, 
and how finance has helped women, right? So you being a woman and being having a non-traditional job, it's not a case where you can just walk into the bank and be like, this is my business, I'm selling water, can I have $20 million to start my job? It's not gonna happen, right? So I reinvested every bit of money that I made back into my brand. So I started off small, I started making 10 products, and the profits from those 10 products will go back into my business, and I kept growing and growing. So there were 43 persons in my batch, all amazing female entrepreneurs. I learned so much during that program, even though I am a small business owner, sometimes when you are focusing on production, you don't have the time to like sit down and say, okay, let me look at my business and what I need to work on and so on. So when, and even though you like, you know it in your head, you don't have the time to like write it down on paper. So those designated slots where we would be learning about finances, where we'd be learning about our business plans and SWOT analysis and all of that, it was very helpful because I could have the time to do all of those things outside of production. On behalf of all the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and I'm sure the world, <laughs> we thank you. Through lunch, we had an amazing meals and we heard from Paraguay's presidents, we heard about the amazing things that they're doing for women in Paraguay, all of the programs and policies that they have developed, and it was awesome to hear. There was also a really great lady who was there who sewed, and she made this amazing dress from her hands, and that was lovely to see. Y'all, I am beyond tired but you know what the show must go on we're gonna gonna hype ourselves up gonna power through this is my outfit okay okay she's giving luxury giving all sorts of things <laughs> okay they're waiting on me so i'm going now honestly my hair gave all of the things it should give today Everything, everything served 100%. Okay, I'm gone.